Hey guys, just wanted to go over the newest version of JTDX, version 2.2.156, which has the TCI protocol, uh, which was developed by Expert Electronics and their software. And this makes things very, very simple to set up regarding uh, COM ports and uh, audio pass. You don't have to worry about COM ports, don't have to worry about audio. Uh, everything's going to be handled over the TCI client. So with that said, um, let's, uh, let's go over to the rig. First thing you're going to want to do is make sure underneath your options tab and TCI client that you do have this transceiver control interface TCI enabled. The default port is perfectly fine if you need to adjust this for whatever reasons, if you're running uh, multiple radios, um, multiple TCI clients, whatever. Um, go ahead and do that, but the default 4001 or four is, uh, is fine here. Next thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and download your JTDX. Again, I am running uh, version... 2.2156. There is a 16A and a 32A. These refer to the audio. Um, these are not 16 bit and 32 bit or 64 bit. Um, this is a 64 bit program that I am running. However, I am using the 32 um, 32A audio option, which is an increased dynamic range, uh, which is why you see the scale go to the 200 plus here now. Um, increased dynamic range may give you, you know, one or two more decodes on an average, um, nothing really significant. However, it is nice if your radio and your audio pass can support the higher dynamic range to go ahead and use that. So that's what, uh, that's what we're using here. So, uh, I've got the audio muted here for the time being, but, uh, once you download JT60 or JT65. Once you download uh, JTDX, you're going to, it's the normal setup, uh, file, settings, um, you know, underneath your general tab, your call sign, grid square, your regions, um, all your basic stuff in here. I'm not going to go through all that. There's plenty of videos out there of how to set that stuff up. The main tabs we're going to be dealing with are the radio and the audio tabs. So, Simple radio tab rig uh, in the list. There's lots of options, obviously. TCI client done, um, at least for this part. Don't have to worry about COM ports, don't have to worry about PTT methods. Everything is, you know, all the rig control is handled over the TCI client. So you can do a test TCI client, come back green, you can do a test PTT. It's keyed up. And now we're going to move on to your audio. You may have to do a refresh here, but you're going to select use TCI audio. Again, your input path and your output path are both TCI audio. And, you know, uh, regarding uh, your other settings, uh, macros, reporting, um, obviously you're going to want to set up a reporting if you want your uh, JTDX to automatically, you know, go to a logging program and log those contacts for you. Um, you, you may need to set up your UDP server or your ADIF data ports, whatever. But uh, radio and audio tabs are, the, like I said, the two we're going to work with here. Uh, both of those are set to TCI client, and you're done. I mean, couldn't get much simpler than that, could it? No COM ports, no virtual audio cabling, no virtual audio ports like VB cable um, or, you know, USB interfacing cable, typical like the ICOMs, um, the ASUS where you've got to download uh, a driver that controls, um, you know, your cat ports and your, um, your audio over that. Uh, TCI is much more efficient, much quicker, um, and um, the transfer rate is, is, is a lot faster, so... Uh, you're done. No, uh, don't have to worry about uh, setting up your um, uh, gain level for um, transmit. Um, that's going to be handled automatically through the client. Your RF gain on your uh, EESDR software is going to control, you know, your audio gain coming in here. So, again, this is the 32 uh, version for the audio, and that does have the increased dynamic range. So. 
Uh, I'm going to go ahead and unmute this now. And let's pull this back up. We'll try to work a couple guys here real quick. I'm not going to keep this video very long, but uh, just like I said, wanted to kind of go over um, how this works. So again, your RF slider here is going to adjust your, your gain levels. Uh, let's just see if we can grab somebody here real quick. I should be pointed out towards Europe. I'm on the little two element tri bander that's at like 31 or 32 feet. It's been windy here the last few days on and off. I did have an incident not too long ago where wind got a hold of the boom and did walk it around the mask. Um, we'll see. Uh, I think I'm, it should be generally in that direction. I haven't really paid attention to it. I may need to go outside and take a look to make sure that's still set where it is, but I think we should be close enough anyways. Let's try somebody else here real quick. I'm not really sure what kind of shape the band's in either. Um, haven't really been paying attention to it. Haven't been at all that active here the last uh, <clears throat> last few weeks as well. So we'll see what happens here. Do to do nothing like the waiting game with what is it Steve calls this zombie apocalypse. One other thing I never really looked at here was <clears throat> to see if OBS Studio is screwing up my audio with uh, JTDX so let's uh, let's try somebody else here again and see what happens <clears throat> do 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 Well, <clears throat> may need to look at this antenna. At least the SWR looks like it's all right. May just find a little spot and cram ourselves in there. Call CQ real quick too. Yeah, this guy's answered somebody else. Let's uh, let's give that a go. Let's just move up here and we'll call CQ. Yep, there we go. So. <clears throat> It's like we got a couple of them anyways. Uh, two of them from Poland. <laughs> Interesting. All right. So there you have it. Um, JTDX via the TCI client. Um, can, uh, transceiver control interface, uh, which is part of the EESDR expert electronics uh, application. So... Uh, 
close this guy out. And we'll see if we can work the other Poland guy here real quick, too. What the heck? <clears throat> so we want this guy. Give him a go. See what happens here real quick anyways. And this goes over to my Swiss log, which is on another monitor. If I drag it across, it's going to get all screwed up. So I'll go over that <clears throat> setting up of uh, Swiss log, which is another logging program that takes advantage of the TCI client as well. So no program or no programs, no com ports need to be set up in that logger either. Um, just turn on TCI and you're pretty much done. Uh, TCI is such a such an asset um, not having to deal with com ports and um, there we go not having to deal with com ports or um, audio um, interfacing it's just you know simple click enable it in EESDR enable it in the application that supports TCI and you're done so couldn't get much simpler alright guys hope you enjoyed the quick little video and um Hope everybody has a, a good day, and we'll look forward to uh, doing a couple more videos here real soon, hopefully. Take care. 7-3 from N8SDR.